Hi, ik ben Tessa en ik zou graag uh, mijn haar een stuk lichter willen en ook een uh, stukje korter. Ja. Yeah. Dus een lange bob. Oké, okay. dit is Tessa en she wants a, a long bob and she wants the hair a lot, a lot lighter. So that's what I'm going to make for her. Will you turn for you and the rest of the world? To show you her now. And it's uh, dry ends of summertime. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube, I'm gonna do our hair. So first I take it aside and put on the cape to protect. And I'm gonna cut the hair with a hot scissor, 140 degrees. Take out the dry ends because yeah they are so hard so I don't get condition in that anymore. As you don't want uh, the, the grey platinum color, she wants just a ultra light blonde. So that I do with a highlight. But first we're going to wet the hair a bit. Now she wants uh, a long bob. I think it suits her. And I saw the hair in the under layers. It's also a little bit damaged. So then I'm getting a good hair back. Show you that. When I watch your hair and I saw that the under layers are more damaged, you see that they are holding here and the rest is laying to there. You see that the ends are totally dry and when you let the hair bend on a natural weight, you can see where the hair is good or bad because this is stiff hair, it's no uh, moist anymore. But when you get to this part, here the natural fall of the hair comes back. So I know this part has to come off, but that's wonderful because then I have also the underlines in a wonderful line. So that's what I'm going to make. I work my way up. Part it over the skull bone. Lay it in the natural fall. This also I copy the lines of the skull bone in my parting line. Take the hair down and with a point cut technique I take off about a centimeter of the length. And now you see that I have all the damaged hairs that laying beneath the hair also cut. So I have a wonderful condition again. Every time I take about a centimeter higher, pull it straight down because now I have to watch that I hold the same length as I did on the neckline. And that's why I pull it straight off the skull down. And when I would follow this line, I have more length and I want it on one straight line. So that's why I pull it straight down. And just take off the ends. And this I do to all the hair. Going to connect the sides to the length I create. Holding some length at the front. Make sure the lines are straight off the parting line down. And do this also layer by layer every time about one and a half centimeter. Going to her right side, and do also the same. Find myself the line of connection, put it there straight down. Make sure I get some more length at the front. And with a small point cut technique, I make a nice clean line. Take a new line on it.
put it straight down there's my connection and do this again to all the layers coming to the front there just watch what the lines do and connect the right side to the left side and of course also the other way around still working a small point cut technique and still working with my hot scissor lay the hair over the center and now I'm sure I have all the hair on the same length See, now I can call it in here. Hey. <laughs> oh, I can. Okay, I put a other cape on because now I'm going to color. I put out my plastic foil and I made her a highlight. I used 9% uh, because she has already light hair. I used the 12 um, 0S of uh, Infinity Colors and that I put uh, three parts and then one part uh, 10 uh, 21 because. I know she has a lot of golden tones and I don't want them into that so I want it to have a natural color so that's why I put that in put in deep conditioner so I don't have to be aware of anything and I just apply it on her hair so start on top and do this by flipping over from one side to the other the conditioner I put into it is the step one of Goldwell and especially developed for coloring hair. Now in about, uh, no, I think, seven minutes I applied all the color on the hair. Now I start by combing the hair and lay it in a position down just to make sure that I have, I have all the color on the hair and I spread it all over the hair so I get everywhere the same color results and not uh, dark spots between it then I will close my plastic foil and uh, I don't need heat in this process just let it natural uh, coloring, decoloring and I think it takes about uh, a half hour to get into a light color. You see already that the color is uh, light enough. It's also spannend om te doen iedere keer. Mm -hmm. leuk. Speciaal als je jong bent. Weet je, heb je alles gedaan wat je wil doen. Ja. Yeah. Je moet alleen even er overheen zetten van ja, het groeit wel weer terug. Ja, absoluut. Ja, dat is wel leuk als je dat model bent. Dan kun je nou eens een keer zeggen van nou, doe ik een ander kleurtje of laat ja. het met een kleurtje weglopen. Of je maakt er uiteindelijk een dip dive van of uh, een balayage. Mm -hmm. Tegenwoordig is ook een uitgroei niet meer erg. Nee. Dus dat is gewoon mooi. Talking about when you're young, you and you want to do things with your hair especially when you're young do the things you want to do because when you leave it and you grow older and your husband is going to tell you I want you to do this you never do it probably so do whatever you like with your hair it's your hair but find yourself a hairdresser who cares about your hair And young woman in her age, I mostly imagine that they are my daughters, so I treat them like I treat my own daughter, mm. and not differently. She's a child of the world. <laughs> no, it's in. Pop you. Yes. 
Nou eens kijken hoeveel het is. Dat is echt een uh, 100 milliliter oh, wow. uh, Als je een nou drooggistproduct pakt, dan heb je 50 ml. Ja. Dus kun je naar hoe dunner er dan op zit. Now I take uh, my carton wig, I lay it on the contour line, on the ears, just to be sure that uh, the skin don't add some colors, and especially for the plastic foil, because there where it lays on the skin is mostly more uh, heated, I don't want that. Now close it and then we're going to wait and I'll tell you afterwards how long it took to become the blonde you will see in a few seconds. So we'll be back. Hello, we're back from coloring. And what I'm going to do is now, I made myself uh, some special uh, water wave rollers because I click them together. So I take a small one, put it into the larger one, then have longer uh, rollers so I can make uh, curly effects but not like uh, water wave because I don't like this on this hair. I will put on uh, a sea mist of uh, attitude. This gives uh, wonderful holes and it is a wonderful product to work with because it makes it a little bit stronger. I start with parting the hair so I can use the rollers on the half of the hair and then put uh, the rollers on top so it works in two parts. I, I also love to experiment with, with two things, so also with the shoulders, I love the, the way yeah, it works. Start in the underlines and then I work it up so I'm sure it holds on the parts where I start. This way I can work very fast, I can put it under the dryer so it's, it dries a lot quicker and it gives a wonderful effect. Different uh, volumes, so I don't have uh, all the rollers in the same line. And so I do all the hair. All the rollers on, you see it's a colorful uh, effect. I can turn it around so you can see how they lay. And it makes it drying a lot easier because it takes about five minutes to roll them in. And now put a net over it so they stay at the place where I want them to stay. Now I'm going to dry it under the dryer on automatic position and then we're back to show you the end result. Okay, it's dry and now I'm going to take out uh, the rollers. First take off the net. Of course. Start in the underlines. See how wonderful the curls are. This took about uh, 20 minutes to dry. But then she had a wonderful cup of tea. And uh, nowadays with the smartphone she don't have to, <laughs> to do nothing. Her hair structure is ultra fine. I just roughly go through it with my fingers. Front is a little bit wet, not much, but a little bit. I think I love that because that is more natural. Now I'm going to use a combination of uh, Mojo from Attitude. Just a small amount, not too much. Then I put a little hairspray on. Just bricks together. Gives a better hold to. 
and gives a nice product to work with. And just work it out roughly. Not old fashioned kind. Just go through it. Leave the curls the way they are. Give it a nice trendy effect. Almost, huh? Yeah. It's not for Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nopies. This is okay, it's almost. Yeah. Just use a little bit of hairspray, not too much. Just to give it the extra hold. But not take away the movements. And again, I don't work it out. Uh, yeah, the classic, because I don't like it. I like the waves. I like to see the structure I bring into it. And this is a new hairstyle and color. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Okay, my love, you may show this to the world by turning around. And thank you for modeling. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>